Hi there, this is Mike, and in this video I'm going to show you how to customize your very own WordPress theme. Now I have my WAMP server started, and I've already installed a sample WordPress site, and if I open up localhost WordPress demo, I get my WordPress site here in the browser. Um, if I go to my dashboard, and I go to appearance, theme options. I am using the 2011 theme and there are certain options that are built in from for customizing. You can choose between a light design and a dark design. Do you want your content on the left or on the right? You can change a link color. Uh, if I go over here to header, I could upload my own header image or choose from several previously built into the theme header images. Uh, I can turn the text in the header on and off, and I can change the color of that text. If I come to Appearance Background, I could upload my own background image and change the background color. However, these are all options for customizing that have been built into the theme. And this is going to change from theme to theme to theme, and these are not going to be the same. Um, as well as not giving you complete control. What is built into a theme is a good start. However, to truly customize any theme into anything that you want, you have to become familiar with the three primary files of any WordPress theme. Those files are style.css, header.php, and footer.php. So I'm going to open up Dreamweaver, which I've already set up to uh, connect to my locally installed WordPress site. And here you will see I have my 2011 theme. And inside my 2011 theme, you will see that I have style.css, footer.php, and header.php. There are also many, many other files. These are specific to this theme. And just to show you, I am going to open up the 2012 theme and show you that inside 2012 you have a style.css, a footer.php, and a header.php. These are required for a WordPress theme to be a WordPress theme to function as a WordPress theme. All of these other files are specific to that theme. So if you can understand how to begin to customize and navigate the style.css, header.php, and footer.php files, you can turn any WordPress theme into anything you want. For example, as a designer and developer, you will probably come across this situation. You've got a working WordPress site. It has been installed, it's connected to the database, it is ready for content, it just looks like an out-of-the-box theme. You will probably then be handed something that looks like this, which is a Photoshop file, maybe an Illustrator file, some graphic that uh, a graphic designer has created. This is going to be what we want our site to look like. It has a space for the navigation and a space for the content, but we have controlled everything else to to brand it for our business for our for our blog what have you so the question then becomes how do you take this design and make this WordPress installation look like this and the answer is learning how to manipulate these three files style.css header.php and footer.php now, before we dive too deeply into this, let me just give you a small tour of those three files. Here we have our site. And I recommend that everybody have their developer tools installed. Particularly, I'm working in Firefox, and I use Firebug for my uh, developer tools. If you want to find Firebug, just Google Firebug. It's a Firefox plugin. There are also the similar developer tools for uh, Chrome and Safari, uh, but those would not be under Firebug. 
if I left click on any element here, inspect element with firebug, it's telling me that this is the body. And then over here on the right, I have all of the CSS rules that are determining what that looks like. For instance, here is the body, and here is a rule for the background. It is telling me that the background color has been set to this value here, E2, 2E, 2E, uh, which is a, it's a light gray. I can turn that on and off and see that the default is white, but I can also see this nice little piece of information here that this is being set on that, here's that file, style.css, and this rule is on line 323. So I'm going to open up Dreamweaver, and I'm going to open up my 2011 theme, and I'm going to open up style.css. Now using the little bit of detective work that Firebug helped us out, I know that I want line 323. If I scroll down to line 323, here it is. Here is that background color being set to that gray color. From here, let me just take a look at my Photoshop file. It looks like my background should be white. And the hex code for white is not E2, E2, E2. It's FFF. I will then save that file. Dot that. Save that file come back over to my site, minimize Firebug, and refresh, and you'll notice that I have now changed the background to white using CSS, not necessarily the, um, the built-in customized options inside the theme. As you can see, there are many, 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 many CSS rules, and learning CSS is a very valuable skill because it will give you absolute control over almost every uh, graphic presentation on your website and it is all controlled here in the style.css. More on that in a moment. Let's now open up header.php. Header.php controls the header of your website and what I mean by that is basically everything from the top down to about here all of this it's controlling the title it's controlling the tagline it's controlling this uh, this image here it's controlling your navigation it's even got a place for your search bar uh, if I right click and view the page source this is the actual HTML controlling this web page. You'll see it starts with doc type HTML. We have some language attributes. Uh, next thing of interest is the head, where it has all of our CSS and uh, JavaScript placed in there. After the head, where the head closes, next starts the body, and then the next thing of interest starts this div ID page followed by the header. Now keep that in mind as I walk through here. We are going to start with doc type HTML, then we're going to see the head. Once the head closes here, we're going to see the body, and then the next thing we're going to see is div ID page followed by header ID branding, followed by this H group here. If I open up my Dreamweaver, which has my header.php, you'll notice that it starts with doc type HTML. As I scroll through, this is where the head closes. This is where the body opens. Let me just put these side by side so we can see them. Body class. Body here's some PHP that's generating this class. It is followed by div ID page class H feed, div ID page class H feed, followed by header 
ID branding role branding, followed by header ID branding role. Br this is the file that's generating the top portion of this web page. Just to give you a demonstration, I am going to go to the top just above this header here and I'm going to say hello from header.php give you a little white space I'm going to save the file and now I'm going to refresh my website and right there hello from header.php one of the reasons we use PHP is for dynamic web pages to keep this header consistently presented on every single page of our website it is coming from one file if I here I am on the home page if I come over to the sample page here's my hello from PHP also on the sample page uh, I'll go back to the home page and I'm gonna click on an individual blog entry here's this hello world blog entry and notice that the header is coming from the same PHP file where I've added my little hello from header.php just to sandwich that a little I'm gonna scroll down to the very bottom all of this which if you're not familiar with PHP might look like complete gibberish but this is what's generating the top part of your website if I scroll down to the very bottom here I can see that this is where the nav closes and this is where the header closes and then this looks like it begins the main content I'm going to go just underneath the header and just above the main content and I'm gonna say goodbye from header.php save the file come back over to the website and refresh. Here we have hello from header.php and here we have goodbye from header.php. Everything here in the middle is generated by this code. So all we have to do is either edit this code, which if you don't know PHP can be a little bit daunting, but as you can see I can just type in text and HTML directly into this uh, page here and it will be generated on every single web page across my entire website. To follow that lesson I'm gonna come down here to this this is the footer where it says proudly powered by WordPress um, that's probably one of the first things you want to remove proudly powered by WordPress you'll probably want copyright and whatever name of your site is this is being generated here in footer.php much the same way it's being generated in header.php if we read the notes here these are these are comments and one of the first things it says is contains the closing ID main div after all the content that's right here this is where they close the main content and then they start the footer the footer is then generated by this code and then it closes out closes out the footer closes out the div for the page closes out the body closes the HTML this is the end of your web page the header is the beginning the footer is the end and everything in the middle is the content so I'm gonna do the same trick I did with the header page and I'm gonna say right here below the main div and above the starter of the footer I'm gonna say hello from footer.php and right here where the footer closes I'm gonna say goodbye from footer.php save this file and refresh 
Hello from footer.php is above the footer. Goodbye from footer.php is at the very bottom. Everything that happens in the middle is being defined by this code. For instance, if I wanted to track down this proudly powered by WordPress, all I have to do is read the code. And right here, proudly powered by, here's a little PHP code, 2011 theme, WordPress. What if I replace the word WordPress with Mike? Save the file, come back over here, proudly powered by Mike. I can now completely control everything in the footer as well as everything in the header and in my next video I'm gonna do that and make sure that everything resembles the design that we have here. See you in the next video.